the mod wall was crazy. It showed protection, but it also showed, well, there's a small mod, so I'm scared of saying anything. I, I'm I'm happy I'm I am happy I'm not a mod in Taz um in Chazam Chicken, honestly. Because he's great. Ted's great. It's that Dude, I I yeah, I know he did it for reasons. Yeah. I mean at the time Here's here's what happened. It broke it broke down because we had everyone in Zombie Spawn. Who was modding? Who was it modded? Everyone who everyone who streamed was a mod. And everyone who was imported by any way, shape, or form was a mod. So we had everyone who was modding, and like, you know, it, it's it's both good dropkick misses, Fale just walks away. It was good and bad. I mean he had it was good reasons, but like the attention to people casually washing or coming in for stuff might have not been the best reasoning. And we talked about that. We talked about a lot of things. And there were some people who got mod that shouldn't have got mod. And I, I'm going to be honest. Um, if it wasn't for me streaming, I would I should not have had mod. I should not have had mod in Zom Spawn if I wasn't streaming for it. What I wish you could do in Zomb Spawn, and this is just me saying this. I mean, for I mean, for modding in general on Twitch, is I wish they could temporarily give someone mod, like for a period of time. And I know what you're saying. I could just mod and unmod them, but I want there to be a thing where I could give someone like mod for a extended period of time and have it automatically deplete. That way I can, you know, don't have to worry about not being here, you know, to unmod them. If, you know what I mean? Uh, like an auto mod thing, but you know, happens, it happens. There might be a bot command for that, we'll see. I'll throw up Swift Fuji? No! I mean, I'm, I'm talking more about random shit than the actual match going on. But that's because I think Marifuji might have this in the bag so much. That I think the schoolboy might win it. Because it's probably going to be a dangerous thing. No, two count. Wow. <laughs> Dude, By the way, uh, let's let's keep going. Uh, let's talk about other wrestling stuff. Uh, anyone have any subjects that you want to talk about, wrestling-wise? Let me know. Uh, you know, I, I I admit I haven't been keeping track of that many things as well as I should be. That's why I, I usually do. But um, I've been keeping track of stuff. I've been keeping track of the WWE, uh, New Japan, of course. I try to get my TNA results. I try to pay attention to Lucha Underground a bit, um, you know, uh, some Japan promotions all around the place. I admit I might not be the best thing, best, uh, best current at this. Air Fuji wins. The absolute state of Ring of Honor's booking. Mare Fuji beats Bellic Folly. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, you're making it. You're you're already making it. Hard. You're already making it hard. <laughs> nah. Okay. I'm gonna say things that people that I know that people might not like. All right. If are we, are we talking about just like the recent like um 
couple months of how it's just been fucking crazy as chaotic as fuck. Since, um... Since the... <laughs> just say it's stuck in delirious. Life. Okay! It is not going well for Ring of Honor. I state this. I state this. Because it has now gone down to trying to be chaotic for the sake of being chaotic. And it sounds like, and this is a bad comparison, because there are parts of the show that I still like. And there are parts that I still, you know, appreciate and I like that they book. But, we're going down the WCW route. We are surely going down the WCW route. Where we're just doing chaos for the sake of doing chaos a la Vince Russo. It is like Vince Russo has his hands in the product somehow. I don't know how, but he has his hands in the product. And that... And... You're, it, it, it's, it, you're, you're, you're forgetting. This isn't a casual show. It's not appealing to casual, I mean, it's not appealing to casual fan base. Or those people who, like, you know, would watch just for the crazy shit that goes on. You already have your own, you already have a chaotic organization. Lucha Underground is bad shit crazy. Why the fuck are you trying to copy them? You're not going to win anyone from that fan base over just by being batshit fucking crazy. I, I don't know. I, I love Ring of Honor and at the same time the last the chaos stuff is starting to go crazy. I mean, I, 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 I was fine with the, um, I was fine to some point with the whole super kick party thing of the Young Bucks just super kicking everybody as much as they can but like when you're over I guess it's over using the chaos it becomes kind of a horrible thing We're talking about Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor, their booking situation. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Briscoe. Yeah, the freaking Lethal needs to draw the title of someone. Page is. I don't know. Here's, here's the problem with that Razor, with that last part, with New Japan going over in every single match. It's because New Japan is sending guys like Ishii and like, they're, they're big top guys with like, uh, they're big top guys. And instead, what they should be doing and is sending over guys like, uh, Yoshihashi who can take a loss or, um, Captain New Japan, who can take a loss, or, um, God, who else can take a loss? Uh, some of, like, uh, Sonata by himself, or Bushi by himself, who can take a loss. You know, guys who can go to U.S. and take a loss against anyone on the Ring of Honor roster. But instead of sending guys like, um, yeah. Yeah, but I know, uh, I know, they, they should really send, yeah. Um, you know, honestly, you can't, you can't have it be the top, the toppest of New Japan guys. You can't have, you can't have it be, um, Tanahashi, I don't think, not in a singles match, but, I could see, and this might be me just reaching, you could put Goto and have him lose. You can have you can have Go, you can have Goto lose at Ring of Honor against Roderick against um 
I guess it wouldn't be Roderick Strong, it would be Kyle O'Reilly. And could she, um... I can see Goto going, losing, in, a, in, a, in the Ring of Honor. I can see... It can't, it can't be Tanahashi or Okada. They've pretty much got to go over every time. I can see Naito losing during, um... I mean, they don't need to go undefeated, but they need to lose in matches that, you know, really matter. Like, I could see Tanahashi... Tanahashi and Okada should only lose in, like, title matches. Like, Tanahashi loses to Lethal in a Ring of Honor World Championship match. And that could be a loss that Tanahashi could take. Or Okada can lose in a championship match. Though you should never book the IWGP Champion in a singles loss on, on Ring of Honor. That's the one thing I think they should not do. Um... He can win. Mm. He's got to win through. Should I honestly think he can't? At that point, I don't know. If, I don't know if you'd have lethal win clean at all over that. I don't know if I'd have him when he clean. I mean, it's just it's just a regular one-on-one -on -one match for champ. Champ versus champ. You got it. You got to have Okada losing by I don't know. Okada, I think Okada would lose more. Yeah, it doesn't have to be clean. Yes, Okada losing dirty would be would be for, good for Lethal. Make him super heel. Like <laughs> make him more super heel. <laughs> but yeah, I go I go with, I go for. But yeah, I mean you have you can have Lethal. I, I don't care if Lethal beats guys. Not clean, because that'd be that'd be that'd be him. Yeah, yeah, it has been. Yeah, I think that's been. I think that's been more of Ghetto wanting to keep his guys strong, because New Japan is technically. God, right now they're the two or number two organization in the entire world, aren't they? And second only to WWE, but um, God, I do want to see um, I do want to see New Japan take more losses. Though I believe that New Japan, especially I mean New Japan's top guys, should take losses that matter. They should not be throwing random matches away. If you want to, if you want to have a random match thrown away, if you want to have a random match thrown away, give it to Yoshihashi or someone. Um, uh, I don't know if I'd go Ring of Honor number two. They should be, but I feel like Ring of Honor prevents themselves from being number two. Globally, Ishii wins. I feel like Ring of Honor holds himself back, and that's the thing that I really think is their flaw. At times, they hold themselves back. They have the talent. They have the they have a time slot. Yeah, yeah. Nationally, oh, I meant globally. I meant globally. Nationally, they should be number two for sure. I, yeah. Nationally, they freaking should do. Uh, what's the fucking makes. Okada vs. Sonata. Why the fuck can I not remember these matches? Okada vs. Sonata. Yeah. New Japan is number two globally. Um, God, is Ring of, Ring of Honor crack top five in that category? Because your best case scenario, you got WWE number one, New Japan two number in the global. Um, do I count Lucha Underground as part of... Uh, 